It's lovely to be back in London. I've been visiting, um, I've been visiting my parents in Eastbourne. Has anyone ever been to Eastbourne? No. Yes, yes. A few people, and yet you still have glimmers of hope in your eyes. <laughs> Little tip, if you go there, if, you, if you're into photography, don't go. They'll burn you as a witch. But I went home to visit my parents, and it's nice, I, it's nice when you go home and visit your parents, because I think my parents are, are just sort of staying together out of spite these days. And they just sort of, now, and now they've, sort of, they've run out of things to argue about, and now they're just trying to spice up their argument life with just anything, and it's quite fun. And so I went home to my parents' house, and it's always nice to go there, because you, up, you go upstairs to your old room, don't you, and it's fun, you're like, ah, oh, this is the room I learned to wank in. <laughs> Twelve times in one night. It was incredible. I bruised it. It, it, it was at an angle for the rest of my life, but it was worth it. <laughs> I don't think the wallpaper stays up. Anyway, no. Drinking is so silly, isn't it? Because because uh, the thing is, is that when I drink, I'm a, I'm no different to. I, I mean, I am slightly different to some men because I'm, I'm a bit fake, aren't I? Really, I'm a bit posh and a bit twatty. But. Uh, <laughs> And I can't grow a proper beard unless I cover my chin in copy decks and empty a hoover bag over my face. That's the best semblance of a beard I can muster. But, um, in principle, I'm no different from any other man. And when I, and when, and when I drink, uh, silly things happen. And, uh, and on that long, lovely walk home, anything that is not nailed down or on fire pretty much belongs to me, really. <laughs> I can't, be, I can't be the only one here with a living room full of traffic cones. Come on. Seriously, no. Anyone? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Fuck you, you amateurs. I have a bus stop. 